moved, and this will do just that. Mr. Kerik wanted the president to win. What he didn't say in this email was what he would later tell the select committee in a letter that his lawyer wrote to us in November. The letter said, quote, it was impossible for Mr. Kerik and his team to determine conclusively whether there was widespread fraud or whether that widespread fraud would have altered the outcome of the election. In other words, even Rudy Giuliani's own legal team knew before January 6th that they hadn't collected enough actual evidence to support any of their stolen election claims. Here's what Trump campaign senior advisor Jason Miller told the committee about some of the so-called evidence of fraud that the campaign had seen from the Giuliani team. So do you know what the example of fraud numbers, names, and supporting evidence was that you sent to Mo Brooks' office? And when I say you, I mean you or the campaign. There are some very, very general documents as far as, as far as, say, for example, here are the handful of dead people in several different states. Here are explanations on a couple of the legal challenges as far as the saying that the rules were changed in an unconstitutional manner. But it was to say that it was thin is probably an understatement. Here's how President Trump's deputy campaign manager described the evidence of fraud. Now, remember me, right? And I said this the whole time. Watch. Keep watching. I'm going to learn or understand that Mayor Giuliani had evidence. Look, even the dog agrees. Look, see, Gisela Doma. Is that fair? That's fair. And here's testimony that we received from the Speaker of the Arizona House of Representatives, Rusty Bowers, about an exchange that he had with Rudy Giuliani after the election. At some point, did one of them make a comment that they didn't have evidence, but they had a lot of theories? That was Mr. Giuliani. Chief of Staff Mark Meadows told me... I just don't see Rudy Giuliani saying anything like that unless he was sarcastically, because look it. But nonetheless, he later worked... I have evidence, and I tried to turn it in, so I don't know where they would say that. ...during this period, Mr. Giuliani, I perceived his goal with all this to keep Trump in office. You know, he had very seriously and deeply considered the allegations of voter fraud. But when he began acknowledging that maybe there wasn't enough voter fraud to overturn the election, you know, I witnessed him start to explore potential constitutional loopholes more extensively, which I then connected with John Eastman's theories. The startling conclusion is this. Even an agreed-upon complete lack of evidence could not stop President Trump, Mark Meadows, and their allies from trying to overturn the results of a free and fair election. So let's return to that meeting at the White House on the evening of December 18. That night, a group showed up at the White House, including Sidney Powell, retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, and former Overstock.com CEO Patrick Byrne. After gaining access to the building from a junior White House staffer, the group made their way to the Oval Office. They were able to speak with the president by himself for some time until White House officials learned of the meeting. What ensued was a heated and profane clash between this group and President Trump's White House advisors. Now remember, Trump was president at the time. ...loyalty to the president and even challenges to physically fight. The meeting would last over six hours, beginning here in the Oval Office. Moving around According to them, they threatened our current president at the time. President's uh. private residence. The select committee had spoken with six of the participants, as well as staffers who could hear the screaming from outside the Oval Office. What took place next is best told in their own words, as you will Aren't see. Aren't they supposed to protect the current president? Did you believe That's their that job. You were going to be able to get to see the president uh, without an appointment. I had no idea. 
Uh, in fact, you did get to see the president without an appointment. We did. How much time did you have alone with the president? And I say alone, you had other people with you, but right. away from his aides before the crowd came running? Uh, probably no more than 10 or 15 minutes. Was in that... In I bet that the baloney set a new land speed record. I got a call either from Molly so that was the first point that I had recognized. Because the current president, Trump, was having some problems. Now see what they doing? He was the current president. Why is it an issue like like he wrong for the getting help to defend himself? What? This is a mixing. They can't. What? Something wrong with this. It don't sound right. The, the pieces ain't adding up. This is Trump's people coming to see him, and to them, they look like they trying to stop him because they like support the current president. Because he was the current president, he said to let him in. It was his say so. He had the choice. What the heck? I could.